Good evening, everyone. We're going to officially start about 7 o'clock, but uh, Dr. Nielsen and I are going to play a tune as people are finally gathering here. And uh, uh, thanks for all uh, being here. And uh, we have all of our performers, which is wonderful. So uh, we are good to go.
All right. Well, that was a song titled Hildel Smiles by a Swedish composer named um, Lars Jansen. And uh, Paul and I actually um, <clears throat> have played a couple of his tunes out at the College of Lake County in the jazz band there. And uh, Dr. Flack brought that song to our attention. And uh, um, it's become one of my favorites. And so thanks for letting us play that. And I think we'll uh, jump right into the concert. Um, and by the way, as we go along here tonight, um, uh, I, I'm going to be playing bass on the first song, but you know, I'll kind of nod my head after each soloist. It's completely cool to, to clap and, and uh, you can whoop whatever you want. <laughs> it's a jazz concert, so um, that's cool. Um, <clears throat> I'll mention that my friend uh, uh, and professional photographer John Petrovic is taking some photos for us. You'll see him uh, in and out and around. Uh, but other than that, let's get some music started. Come on up, combo.
All right, uh, Dr. Nielsen's uh, combo is heading downstairs to get ready for their performances. And uh, what you have just heard was uh, a Red Garland tune titled Red's Good Groove. And uh, that's a blues tune, a 12 bar blues. The blues form is one that we very typically do in the workshop because it's so basic to the, uh, um, the uh, jazz canon. And uh, um, in our combo, um, this, this uh, session, one of the things that we focused on is uh, what we call playing the changes. And that means as the chords come by, trying to play notes that fit those chords. And uh, everyone is really doing wonderfully at that. And uh, you also, of course, heard um, some trading fours with the drummer, which is uh, kind of a feat in itself to keep track of where you are in the, in the song form. So great job, everyone. I'd like to just do some introductions. Over on piano is Campbell Fenton. On drums, keeping time for us here is Rochelle Lasco. <laughs> and on guitar is Sebastian Lasco. <laughs> on trumpet is Maddie Nuzo. <laughs> um, we also had a bassist in the group. Her name was uh, Margot Singleton, and she couldn't be here tonight, so I'm uh, doing my best to fill in for her on that. So. Uh, the next song that the uh, uh, combo is going to play is, uh, an, is an Antonio Carlos Jobim. Uh, it's actually a samba. We're playing it as a bassa. It's actually very common to play it as a bassa, a little bit slower tempo. And uh, this is titled Sodanso Samba. It's a 32-bar tune. It's a little bit longer form. It's Latin in, in flavor. And uh, it also has the same chord changes as Duke Ellington's tune, Take the A Train, if some of you know that one. So... This is Sodanso Samba and the Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday combo.
All right, hey, how about another round of applause for that wonderful combo? <clears throat> um, you realize that some of that stuff they're just making up on the fly, right? <laughs> making it up. The melodies are, of course, the, uh, that tells us the form of the tune, and the, uh, we start there, but then everyone's uh, really composing in a brand new language. So 
Um, it's really um, great to have you all here because uh, musicians, as they're learning, need audiences uh, and friendly audiences. And I like to think of learning jazz as very like learning a new language. And so um, we're older than we were when we were children. And uh, so it's a little harder sometimes to learn a new language. And that's, that's the, often the challenge. Um, but anyway, um, <clears throat> I really enjoyed playing with the group for that. Okay, I have some announcements here. Yeah, uh, some thank yous. And so, uh, Sally, where are you? Uh, oh, here's Sally Lacosi. I'd just like to thank her. She uh, has come to both concerts and opened up the uh, church early for us and helped coordinate everything here at the church. So thanks to Sally. <laughs> There's also another Superman in the house, and actually he's standing right at, at the top in the balcony if you turn around. Oh, he turned around and looked. It's Rich, Rich Garling, and actually tonight he's assisted by Keith, and so both of them are here. Uh, thank you both guys, but uh, Rich has showed up the, uh, to a couple of events here and is helping us with this. And so, Rich, I've got a, 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 a jazz workshop t-shirt for you, okay? So would, would someone... Kale, would you take this up to him? Okay. Kale will be my delivery person. Thank you so much, Rich, for your work on the last concert and help with this one, too. And thank you also, Keith, for setting up tonight and uh, getting us audio and everything. Appreciate it. <clears throat> um, oh, uh, Griffin, would you be willing to play drums on a tune? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Did I mention that you were going to do this? I probably didn't. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you'll work that out. <laughs> Thanks again to John Petrovic. I, I love the photography that he has. So you've probably seen them coming out already in the newsletters, and it's so special to have these collections of the camp over the years. Uh, thanks to Pastor Chris. I saw him a second ago, but uh, oh, he's in the back. Uh, this is Pastor Chris here at the church, and he uh, help, you know, helps us coordinate and allows us to hold our event. <clears throat> It's really such a lovely, intimate uh, location, I think, for our workshop concert, and so thank you very much. Um, thanks to Griffin Fox, who just came up on drums. He brought his drum set, and he's going to fill in here, and you're going to hear him. Yeah, go ahead and clap for Griffin. <laughs> I'd also like to thank Jill Unrein. Jill, raise your hand here. <clears throat> Jill is a, is a percussion teacher, among other things, but she's been bringing her, her drum students to the jam sessions that we hold during the year. And she also uh, kind of helped a couple of students sign up for the workshop this summer, and she's just been very supportive of them, both in both, in both of those roles, really helping them uh, feel good as, as percussionists. And so Jill's just doing a great job teaching these uh, people how to play the drums. So thank you, Jill. <clears throat> For those of you who were here first session, you know Joe Ott was one of our instructors, and right behind me here is Dr. Paul Nielsen. He's been my buddy on the workshop since 2000 when this all began, and I really appreciate being able to collaborate with these great both educators and jazz performers. So thank you, Paul. <laughs> I think we should thank our wives, too. Oh, God. Yeah, uh, my wife is very supportive. I know Tracy is of you too, and uh, um, you know for the extra time away and all of that. So, I'd also like to thank all the students and participants in the workshop. Uh, there every night, uh, a little bit early, so we can start on time and and dedicated and working on learning this, taking these risks to learn this music. So, um, thank you, thank you to the students. <clears throat> And all of the students in the workshop who have parents here tonight, please thank them. You guys clap now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they are the ones who got you into the workshop and got you here and all of that. Okay, finally, some shameless merchandising. On uh, a week from tonight, Paul and I, plus Joe Ott and um, Jim Richardson, will be at the Center Cut playing from 6 to 9 in Grays Lake. Uh, come out and join us. Make sure you get reservations. Um, Paul and I are also playing in the CLC musical coming up. It's Schoolhouse Rock. And, you know, I'm just a bill up on Capitol Hill, um, stuff like that. 
Oh, it doesn't ring a bell. You know those cartoons? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Give me some response here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some people, okay. Um, I'll mention that we have a jam session every month at, at Chapin Jazz Studio during the school year. Uh, you'll be getting it in the newsletter, and it's a free event. It's from 3.30 to 5. It's a great place to keep these skills going. Um, and uh, let's see, I'll also, my, my students will be performing here on July 27th, my jazz piano students and, uh, and a few other students uh, that aren't strictly jazz piano. So if any of you'd like to come to that, you're invited. With that, I'm going to hand it over to Dr. Neil. And uh, oh, I was going to. So I, I got to participate in the first two weeks and had just a wonderful time, learned two great tunes. And I think that we should all give Mr. Chapin a round of applause for, for putting this together. Thank you, Bill. My pleasure. OK. Hi. <laughs> you guys ready? All you ready? You know, okay. Who's introducing this first song? All right. Excellent. So for our first piece, we're going to play Blue Monk by Thelonious Monk, written in 1954. And simply put, it's a 12-bar blues. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Griffin. All right, so um, we have a, a number of our students in this group play more than one instrument, so um, we are going to make a little shift here. All right, and while they're while they're getting ready, um, I'll just introduce the band to you. Uh, Joe Mastry on uh, trumpet, yeah. <laughs> Kyle Park was on bass. Now he's playing drums. <laughs> Thomas Tashada, almost. Almost, almost got that right. Um, was on bass trombone, now he's on bass. Um, yeah. Bobby White on alto sax. And Jimmy White was on trumpet, now on piano. And Grace Doe, who was on piano and now on alto sax. Kind of like Dave Major in the Miners, but I say that and nobody knows what I'm talking about, so <laughs> never mind. You do now, <laughs> yes. We educated Bill just the other day uh, of that. It was a group way, way back in the 70s, and all of the players played multiple instruments, and it was hilarious fun. All right, so are we all set? Great, somebody's introducing this song. Uh, our next song is called Night and Day by Cole Porter, and in the middle of the song we switch from a Latin groove to a swing style, so here is Night and Day. Thank you. 
I'm here. Hey, another round of applause for that combo. That was really uh, fun to listen to. <clears throat> okay, hey, you guys can kind of hold on to your horns or stash your instruments or something. We just got a little interlude before we do our finale, okay? And it's my pleasure now to invite uh, Kale, Thomas, and Griffin up to the uh, stand. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about these people. <clears throat> One of the things that I think is really important about the workshop is for uh, every, all the participants to hear one another play, but in this case, we also have an opportunity for you to hear some alumni of the Grays Lake Jazz Combo Workshop play. <laughs> and so I'd like to introduce to you first, uh, you're going to hear on drums, well, you already heard Griffin, but this is Griffin Fox. And uh, <clears throat> Griffin is going to be a senior at uh, Warren Township High School next fall. Um, Griffin started coming to the jam session when he was in fourth grade. I think that's it, third or fourth? It's a long time ago. And so he was quite young when he first started playing there. And I've had the pleasure of uh, um, having him at jam sessions on both drums and uh, <clears throat> um, bass, on, on trombone, I'm sorry, on trombone as well. And uh, at this point, we've also hired Griffin on a number of gigs, and, and he also also plays for a lot of studio events. So um, Griffin's planning uh, to go to college and study jazz studies, and if that doesn't work out, fall back on aerospace engineering. <laughs> Actually, that's not how he worded it, just to be fair. But uh, um, <clears throat> his favorite drummers are Max Roach and Steve Gadd. And uh, on uh, bass, you're going to hear Thomas Power. Usually you would hear Thomas on guitar, but last summer he came back to the, uh, the workshop as a junior in college after his junior year, and he played bass in the workshop. And this whole year at college, he's been playing bass. He's graduating from Millican University in the fall of 2024 in music education. He'll be student teaching next fall somewhere in the area. Thomas uh, was a regular at the jam sessions uh, during his high school years. And the wonderful thing about Thomas is he knew he wanted to be a teacher, and he started helping out and really teaching uh, the other people there. And uh, Thomas has hired me on gigs, and I've hired him. And he's also teaching over at Andre Alphonse Music this summer and uh, um, playing with the uh, Here for the Summer Band and a number of other things. So um, thanks for being here, Thomas. <clears throat> and over on piano we have Cale Wolf. Um, he's just graduated from the University of Illinois this spring, has a degree in computer science and music. Um, he's headed to the San Francisco Bay Area, Bay Area to be a software engineer for Capital One in the fall, pretty soon. Um, <clears throat> his favorite pianists are Bill Chapin, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it looks the same, Bill Charlap. <laughs> Bill Evans, Herbie Hancock. Um, Kale was a, uh, a, a regular at our jam sessions. He was a part of the jazz. In fact, all of these young men were in the uh, jazz workshop at some point. And Kale also did some studying with me and then went on to college and has continued expanding his playing. So without further ado, uh, that's kind of their history and how they're involved. Um, and uh, shall I announce your tunes, guys? Um, OK, they're going to be playing Crisis first. Uh, Drifton by Herbie Hancock, followed by Crisis by Freddie Hubbard.
Hey, great job. That's the GJCW alumni combo. And uh, I didn't mention before, these are all great young men too. So <laughs> uh, thank you so much, guys, for uh, sharing your talents with us tonight. Okay, it's time for Kate. Yeah. <clears throat> your servers will be around to take your last order. So uh, <laughs> this is our finale now. And so we're going to um, kind of organize a little chaos. And horn players, everyone playing horn, gather with like horns up here and get a mic stand and get one set of music up in front of you. Okay, so all the trumpets. Uh, piano players, get by the piano, guitarist by the guitar, Rochelle on the drums, <clears throat> come on up, <clears throat> and, uh, <clears throat> and Kale and Thomas and Griffin, if you want to rotate in, feel free. <clears throat> okay, let Kyle through everybody, please make way for the bass. Okay, <clears throat> so Sally, I think um, you and Kale and, and uh, Campbell have the piano over there, so you guys can coordinate that, okay? Um, I think you're alone on the drums. Jill, you wanna come up and add a little percussion? I've got the tub up there, Latin percussion, wanna join us? Yeah, come on up. <clears throat> Sneak in between uh, Kyle and Rochelle there.
All right, everyone, that's the 2023 Grays Lake Jazz Combo Workshop. Thank you all for being part of it. Great job, everybody.